Hello artists! Now this video is for fourth and above grades and here you can see my finished outline of my koi fish. Now you guys might have already done your outline from the previous video and that's perfect. I just did another drawing of it a little bit sped up so you can see it a little better. I noticed in the other video it was kind of hard to see me drawing. So here it is a little bit brighter and you can kind of see how I accomplished um, this outline drawing of our koi fish. Now, as I'm drawing this in, I'm just going to kind of talk to you guys about our pattern. So, as we mentioned, we are getting inspired by Japan, and we're looking at the Yuzen patterns, the silk fabrics that are hand-dyed, hand-painted by these artists. Now, the name Yuzen comes from a actual person, and that is their last name. So the first name of this person is Maizaki Yuzen. Now his designs were super popular when he was alive. And this time that he was alive, it was about the end of the Renaissance. So remember we talked about the Renaissance was late 1300s to 1600s. So his artwork was around the 1600s and people loved it so much. He had a very um, particular kind of style to his designs and so a lot of people actually copied his designs they liked it so much and they called it Yuzen pattern so his patterns were very free-flowing and they had lots of flowers lots of foliage and also some geometric shapes that were in there so a lot of people liked it, so they ended up using his kind of style when they created fans or anything that they could apply silk onto. And then you would also use the silk to create traditional Japanese kimono outfits. And here you can see what those look like, and they're usually worn for ceremonial purposes in today's day and age. So just finishing up on the last few little lines. Now you guys can see everything's outlined. And now we're going to fill in the areas of water around our koi fish. Now instead of just coloring those in, we're going to use the Yuzen silk patterns that we learned about in the video. And we're going to start to create some interesting patterns filling in all of those water sections. Now we want to make sure is that we are repeating the pattern over and over. But what's great with the Yuzen pattern that's our inspiration is that it's a little bit more free flowing. So what I mean by that is that you don't have to make it super specific and repeating over and over. You more want to have repetition of let's say the flowers like I'm putting down and then maybe you have a different flower or pattern that's making its way through the so notice how I'm adding these little flowers on the edge of the water line and where it meets up to the other side of the water so along that edge there so that way we're seeing the definition of the contour line. And just remember the contour is just the outline. And I'm also making sure I'm doing small flowers, medium sized flowers, and large flowers. So now you can see how that's starting to take shape but I now am gonna start to section out the water. So now I did the flower pattern in that one section. Now I'm switching over and I'm going to do some kind of leafy, almost sort of like a fern or a bamboo-like leaf shape in the next water area. and just being really careful working around the koi fish making sure the pattern meets up right to the koi fish 
So right in this little water splash area. Now I'm switching over, different pattern. And I'm looking at that fabric, the Yuzen patterns, as my inspiration. And I noticed that there was lots of line work. So some were a little bit more angular, some were a little bit more flowy, especially kind of the outline of the clouds. Those have really nice curves to them, so I'm adding some more curve lines, and it's really nice because it starts to look more like water's flowing. And now I need to go over to this next area of water, and I'm going to put a different pattern, still inspired by our silk fabric. I'm just having some fun adding some of those marks and when you're looking at the fabrics you might think that makes me think of a different object or shape and definitely get inspired that's what inspiration is you look at say those Japanese fabrics and then makes you think of something else and then you can start to implement that and put it into your drawing so right here I'm changing it up and I'm doing a really tight pattern and what it is is tiny little flowers, so little almost cherry blossoms. I'm filling in super tightly. And you guys can either be going in with pencil right now, doing it all pencil, and then putting pen on top, or you could just go for it and start with the pen right away. And your pen can just be a black ballpoint pen, or if you do have a Sharpie on hand, you could definitely use that. You just want to make sure you're not putting down too much pressure because this thick Sharpie I'm using, it has some really big um, thick lines. So you have to be careful if you're doing really small, delicate patterns because otherwise it's just going to all turn black real fast. Now I'm starting to spread out the pattern a little bit more. So it's almost like the cherry blossoms are floating on top of um, the water. In some areas, you can leave white. So those little splashy areas, I'm gonna leave those areas white. And I'm just adding a little bit more squiggle lines up at the top. Just add a little bit more movement around our koi fish. I'm going to start to add some hatching marks in this section right here and then I'm going to layer on top of it some cross hatching and this will make the appearance that this water section is a little bit further away there's a little bit of a shadow on it and it's underneath our koi fish. I'm just adding a few more swirly lines on the outline of our water and in this final section I'm going to add some lotus flowers and you can see what those look like there so I'm starting off with a few petals that are going out at a diagonal and then slowly filling into the center and again, some are small, some are big, and then some of them are tucked underneath our koi fish. You can also think of other flowers or um, kind of foliage that you can think of. So maybe some lily pads, you could do um, a pattern that is kind of disc shapes. You can see this is really coming alive, having all these different patterns around the koi fish, but yet we still have the movement of the water around our fish, which is really nice. So it's not completely flat looking. We still have some nice feel of the water kind of rushing around our koi fish, but yet we have this traditional yuzen silk pattern. Now 
now it's starting to really come along. You can see all the patterns. Some are large, some are tighter. You can see how you're starting to create that illusion of distance. Now we're going to continue and work in the smaller area of our koi fish, and we're going to look at this fabric here as our inspiration for this next pattern. Now, I really like on this fabric how it's overlapping each other, and some of those flowers are on top of the leaves, and some of the leaves are on top of the flowers. So I'm implementing that in this area, and so here you can see I've put some of the flowers down, and then I'm going to do these kind of vine-like shapes, kind of squiggle lines that are going to go in between, behind, and around the flowers. So this area I'm going to have a little bit more open white space. I'm not going to fill it all in like I did in the previous area around the big koi fish. As a review, the name Yuzen, we keep calling this fabric, it comes from a person's name, and that person's name is Maizaki Yuzen, and he was a famous fan designer, and he would paint on these elaborate fans and sell them, and he had a specific style to his designs, and so people started to replicate his designs because they became so popular, and they named it after him, his last name, Yuzen. I'm adding just a few more details, doing these squiggly lines that are cutting through in between each flower, and you can see I'm kind of expanding it out into the other larger water area of the koi fish, and into the smaller area too around the small koi fish, just to kind of finish it off, and now you can see it starts to look like they're kind of flowing together, that water. Now here you can see I have my finished outline of my koi fish drawing inspired by the Yuzen silk patterns from Japan.